Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 5 for the Game Boy. As promised, it's time to go after Venus. Looks a lot like a crab. A crab man. Still kind of irritated at accidentally using that E-Tank. I forgot that was one of my complaints on this game. As you can see, there are bubbles that want to kill us. Some of them are just decoration. Others wish us bodily harm. Now, if... Oh! Uh, okay, bye. Now, if you're really paying attention, you can tell them apart like the one on the very end is going to come down and try to kill me. If you're paying attention, they're a slightly different color than the rest of them. Well, God, what you guys want with me? Aside from slowing my game down, at least they don't explode. Very angry crab thing. Wonder if he's in range of tango so I can show him off. Or not. Oh god, okay. Tango. There we go. Yeah, get him, Tango, get him! Okay, that worked pretty well. Yep, Tango, unlike, you know, Rush, who's like a utility vehicle, gets us from point A to point B usually. Tango is purely offensive. He turns himself into a giant whirling cat blade of death. Now, the big danger with those bubbles, obviously, is they try to take us over the edges of uh, areas. Same thing with the, this water here. This water will actually force us down into the pits. You can tell it's coming because there will be a little uh, a little drip like that right before it. And before you think, hey, I'll just hold on to that ladder. Nope, if you are in the water, it will drag you down, period. So you do not want to touch it. Obviously, sometimes it's worth the risk, like for that big pea chip. And remember, we got expensive stuff we need to buy. Alright, it's a multiplying hippopotamus on a propeller. Okay, then. I've seen everything. The world is now a bore to me. Is that a don't ask me why I think that's a fake wall. I don't even think they're... Man, none of that stuff even works. As I recall, the fake walls in this game are all pretty obvious because they're because they have these um they just look like these silly oh god blank blocks. Forgot about you and it rejects from uh, Airman's old stage. They okay they basically alternate from trying to suck you in to flapping their wings and blowing you backwards. Ah, you know, I'm gonna gonna risk this just to show you what the small E-tanks look like. See how, uh, if I get two more, it'll basically be the same size as an E-tank, and indeed, they turn into one E-tank when I get four, so. Oh, whatever, that was shenanigans. Yeah, some stages are, like, really a little E-Tank happy. Alright, we want to chill on this ledge right here. If we were, even if we were standing on the ledge, it would have swept us off to our death. So keep that in mind. Sadly, it doesn't work on enemies. So shoot the hippos for all your worth. Don't let them, you know, cluster around you like I'm doing. Stupid hippos. Oh, and if you're curious, no, enemies can't drop little E-tanks. They should, but they can't. It almost seems like that should be a branching path. Hey, Eddie, what you got, man? What you got? What you got? Thanks, bro bear. I was waiting for the 
for the for the death spikes after Eddie gave me that life. Except I was expecting just drop on him. Oh, this part, yeah, yeah. Been a while since I. Well, of course it's been a while since I played it, but this is kind of similar to well any multitude of spring-like levels, Spring Man stage, some certain parts in um, the Night Man stage. It can be kind of difficult to get the things to get the bubbles to obey you, so it can be kind of rough controlling it. There goes my cat running like a lunatic. I just feel off. Get over there. Paranoid. That's the only thing about this. You gotta take it really slow. Because the crab has a lot of life and the bubbles get in the way and you gotta wait for the water to go all the way down. Otherwise you die. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have even been moving that fast, but... Alright, now you heard the fancy doodly doodly sound of me getting something good. And... As you can see, an E-Tank. I'm gonna make sure I'm on next this time. As I recall, you can just slide. Yep. Now again, obviously, the problem here is the crabs and the bubbles, but... I'm going to slide right over those little edges. Now this part... Really? I was going to... Thank you. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate this just in case I get it wrong. Okay. See these little bubbles that basically I'm standing on? They're not so bouncy. You'll basically get just barely better than... Actually, no, you will just get regular jumps off of them. It's these... Oh, God. These big... No! Yep, yep. You gotta get the momentum just right or you fail. Because it, for some odd reason, when you go from a little bubble to a big bubble, the physics just want to be completely out of whack. And usually your first jump will be off. Like I am so ably demonstrating right now. So you want to... Okay, I wasn't even on purpose that time. So you want to get a good regular bounce. Then jump. All right. Now that little bit of failure aside. Oh, okay, what? Are you serious? Okay, yeah. Okay, it's obvious why I saved right there. Because these jumping physics are retarded. I forgot how much I hated them. Go, Mega Man, go! Go! Go, you piece of shit! Holy... Come on! Jesus! As far as just remembering what part is safe... Oh, God! Whoa! That was really close. Because, I mean, even though I'm on solid ground, if those things snag you, they will take you down to your death. That is why they are such a problem. Is the stage over yet? There we go. Now watch me find a way to die here. Let's see if I can get the grab buster a little shot here. Wait. Okay, that doesn't help me in the slightest. Let's see if I can bait him to jump off the side. You're kidding. There you go. Let's 
Eh, maybe I'll try fighting him with Mega Buster until he kills me. I'm certainly not going to use uh, E Tank, but he's kind of similar to um, Burst Man. He fires little. He has these little regular bubbles that. Okay, well, I can just slide into him and kill myself, I guess. Alright, we'll see how salt water destroys him. Basically, he shoots little bubbles uh, that'll hover around, and then he'll shoot, like, one big bubble that he'll just like to... Uh-oh, that's not his weakness. So Mars is his weakness? Let me just double check on the grab buster. Yep, nope. That is weird. Well, let's use Tango just for the hell of it. Go, Tango, go. Eh, not a ton of damage, but kind of amusing. Alright, well, now that I've managed to completely mess up the boss order. Which means that Mars is weak to salt water, and Venus is weak to photon torpedoes. Thankfully, none of the bosses are really that horribly challenging, so we're able to get through without using their weakness. Man, I thought I had the weaknesses memorized, but obviously not. Okay, I did manage to remember that Mercury's uh, weapon is Pluto's weakness, but the rest I messed up on. Well, this is. Let me see what this weapon does. Yeah, let's take. That's Jupiter's weakness. Which meant Venus would have been the last one I did. Cause yay, rush coil. Cause Mars then. Mars's photon tor photon missiles would have killed Venus, which means Mars is the one that's weak to salt water. What are you going to do? <laughs> we'll handle Mars' stage next time, and then we'll do uh, gem cleanup. So I will see you then.